What is going on, everybody? I may be about a minute early, but I want to go ahead and get this information out. So you guys let me know in the comments how the audio is doing. Let me turn my stream off on the computer over here. So if you are in the stream already and watching and you can let me know in the comments how my audio is coming through, hey, just go ahead and let me know that. I greatly appreciate it. But basically in this video, what we want to talk about is some new products that's coming out from Signature Solar. And, uh, you know, they're not new products, but they're new product lines that they're carrying, the Pites battery. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here and show you what they got and show you what I think is very interesting about this stuff. Let me get over here. I'm going to get my mouse to work. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Hey, what's going on, uh, Mississippi? What's going on, Michael? The audio is said it's sounding good. All right, I appreciate that. Let's go over here and share the new products that they got. Basically, they got this Pites uh, battery. And let me go ahead and show you, to me, the most exciting part they got is the cabinet. They got an outdoor rated cabinet. So I'll go ahead and show you this. So basically, you can put uh, four of these batteries in here, it looks like. Let me go ahead and make this a little bigger on the screen. You can put their batteries basically on their side, and this thing will be pretty slim. And you have 20 kilowatts in this thing. You, it's indoor and outdoor rated. And so it says, let's go ahead and look on the specs for this thing. This thing says it's $1,243. And then the Pites battery, let's go ahead and look at that. You know, it's a pretty slim looking battery, a pretty sleek looking battery. I've seen professionals using these batteries for solar installs. And it's pretty cool that Secure Solar's got this line now as well. So let's go ahead and see. These are $1,600 and it's basically a five kilowatt hour battery. So we'll go ahead and look at the specs for this and the cabinet, which I think is very interesting, especially when you combine them. So let's go ahead and pull up the specs and see what we got. Of course, you're gonna have remote monitoring and uh, it's got the 100 amp hour, I'm guessing, discharge and charge rate. So let's go ahead and see that. Yep, nominal capacity is 100 amp hours. The maximum charge and discharge is 100 amp hours as well. And the recommended is 75. That's a, like a lot of these 100 amp hour batteries. And one thing I like about these that I saw already, of course, it has a 10-year warranty, and it's going to have a heater in it. Let me see if it says it right here somewhere. So these batteries will be able to heat themselves up. As you can see, there's a lot of pictures of people with them installed, you know, with a lot of Solarts and Victron stuff. And, of course, you can stack a ton of them together with some bus bars. And let me see. Heating. Yeah, heating pad right here, it says, is integrated. So basically, it's going to be able to heat itself up. So if you got it on that cabinet on the outside, you know, it's going to keep itself warm enough to be able to charge up from your solar. So I think that is pretty cool. And I think they're a pretty sleek looking battery as well. So let's go ahead and go over to the cabinet and check that thing out. I've been looking for a cabinet so you don't have to have all this, all these batteries inside, you know, your place, you know, put a, batteries on the outside. So either you need your batteries to be able to heat up or you need a cabinet that to heat them up. So this cabinet looks like it doesn't have the heater built in. The batteries have the heater built in, but it's still pretty cool if you want to get a different style of battery and have these cabinets and it can go indoors and outdoors. So let's go ahead and look. $1,243 for this cabinet. So, I mean, I think that is a pretty good deal for something that's rated for the outdoors. You know, as you can see, it looks pretty good as well. Let me go ahead and make the picture a little bigger so you guys can see it. Hey, what's going on, Eric? Uh, East Texas Homestead. And as you can see, you know, it's a pretty good looking cabinet. Looks like you're going to have all your connections on here for your power to be able to go in and out without a problem. And let's go ahead and look at the specs for it. Of course, I've been doing these live streams where I just kind of look through the stuff. And then, you know, you guys can look through it at the same time. You know, it's nothing that I really prep for. I'm just doing them because it's fun to be able to look through this stuff, you know, with you guys. You know, just showing you what I do when I'm looking at a new product that I might be interested in. So as you can see, the load capacity is, you can put four of the version five uh, Pites batteries in here. And of course, it's got this bus bar and all, an integrated uh, DC breaker built into the thing. Uh, the cooling method on this, it doesn't have like an air conditioner on this thing or something. It just says natural convection. So I'm guessing, you know, there's no air conditioner on here. And let's see what else we got. Basically, it's just showing the cabinet images and basically how your inverter is gonna go through your bus bar and back through your uh, breaker, back to the inverter. And it says the weight on this thing is going to be 194 pounds. 
definitely think it's pretty good looking myself. I'm definitely interested in testing this out. And I might have to get this just so I can test it. I think it says that, let's see when it comes out. It's going to be released. Uh, let's see the battery. The batteries look like it might be already out. And because it says add to cart. And this right here. Oh, the box, the cabinet is pre-order for uh, shipping in early December, it says. So pre-order, expect to ship early December. So the batteries look like they're in stock, but not the cabinet. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'll have to get some. Because if I get a cabinet, I'm going to have to get four batteries too. So, of course, this stuff is not cheap. So I just can't buy everything that I like. Unlike some people out there, you know, you have to have some kind of budget sometimes. <laughs> it may not seem like it. So what do you guys think about this uh, battery, how it looks? I think it looks pretty slick myself. Let me see if I can get a bigger picture on here. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. There we go. I mean, look at this thing on the front. I mean, it definitely looks a little more space aged than some batteries that we have out now. You know, you got, you got your own off button. Um, you got your all your connection communications. Looks like you got the uh, rapid shutdown stuff. And you got your positive and your negative connections here. Looks pretty good to me for sure. And then the state of charge, it looks like it's just a bar instead of like a, a lights, so like a lot of them. So I guess the bar just go down and up based on your state of charge. Let's see what the next picture looks like. This is showing, I got handles on the side as well. That will definitely make it easier to install them. You know, when you're picking it up and put them in to the cabinet, you won't have to try to hold them from those uh, handles on the front only. Let's see what else we got. So pretty good looking. $1,600. Of course, it's going to cost a little more than the EG4, like life power batteries and stuff like that. Because this is not a budget model. This has got all the stuff on it right here for you to see. And um, it's going to have where you can put it in that cabinet and pipes, of course. A lot of commercial installers use these batteries because I've seen a ton of videos online with installers using them all the time like engineer 775 i don't know if you guys have ever seen his channel with his solar installs but that's what he does for a living and i've seen him using these batteries i've seen him using the eg4 stuff as well so it just depends on what his customer wants i guess let's see what else it says it says it has multiple protections you know like i said it's got a heater built into it so if the thing starts getting cold it's going to be able to heat up and it says minimum cell temperature is uh, 41 degrees and the heating comes on. And when it goes over 50, the heat goes off. So basically it's going to keep the thing above freezing because if the heater starts at 41, it should be able to keep it high enough where it's not going to get below 32 and it's going to interlock your battery basically and turn it off. All right, let's see. So of course it's a 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour battery just like most of the server rack type batteries, 5.12 kilowatt hours of energy storage. And the size and dimensions, if anybody's interested, it's 17 inches uh, by 20 inches by five inches, 97 pounds. So, and it says that it has uh, included with it, it has flexible bus bars and they're 300 amp hour rated. And it says it has the cascade communication cable and also the 10 AWG grounding cable included as well. So not bad. I definitely like it. So what do you guys think? Should I order <laughs> some of these batteries to test out? I mean, maybe I can get somebody else to order some and I can just install some stuff for them. You know, I just want to test it. I don't necessarily have to keep the stuff. But uh, there may be some people that want to have me install something kind of off grid for them. Since in North Carolina, you can't do it officially. Let me go back to myself here. Since North Carolina, you can't officially install solar for anybody, especially for money or anything, unless you're a licensed electrician. So, you know, I could help friends and family and stuff. They want to do some off-grid stuff or whatever. And, hey, <laughs> Eric says to do it. Yeah, go ahead and just order everything. I definitely want to. I like the aspect of not having that stuff inside my building and having it in a cabinet. And for anybody that is just joining us, you know, I'll go ahead and take you back over here to the screen so you can just be seeing what we're talking about. So this cabinet, if I can find it. So this cabinet, you can put the batteries in and it's outdoor rated. 
and you'll be able to use it on the outside or you can put the thing on the inside you know it'll keep your batteries protected and it's not that expensive what it say twelve hundred and forty three dollars so that's not bad at all if you built something you know yourself like out of wood and all that you gotta think how much time it's gonna take and you know it's be a, probably a couple hundred dollars to build you something that you might want to put like some ventilation in and stuff like that so it's not going to be cheap and this is going to save you time and it's going to look way better for sure so it just depends on if you want to spend the money on this or buy extra battery i guess but if you're not putting them on the inside you put it on the outside i would definitely recommend it i definitely want to test one out i want to check it out and this one it only seems like it's about 194 pounds i think that's what it said so you wouldn't necessarily need a forklift to move the thing with like I've seen another one from uh, Current Connected with the, uh, I forgot what the batteries were that they they had, but basically had a cabinet that goes on the out, outdoors and that thing, it might've been 400 pounds or 500 pounds or something. You'd have to have a, a tractor or forklift, something to move that thing around. So, you know, it's not for everybody. I guess if you got a homestead and you already got a, a tractor or a forklift or something like that, you'd be good to go. But, that's what I want to talk about real quick is these new products. Let's go to the, the pipes uh, screen and let me go back to the front and show you the, they got a few more products as well. If I can get to them. Let me see here. So it has the pipes battery hub as well. I haven't checked that out yet. And I guess that's so you can connect a lot more batteries together, of course. So let's see if we can just find all the shop now. Maybe shop now show us all the products. There we go. So Pites has got some connection update cables, got uh, battery cables. They have bus bars they're selling now. And then the Bytes uh, battery hub, low voltage hub for the uh, version five expansion. So if you want to use more batteries, you can connect them all together communication wise with this. And then it got the Wi-Fi stick and got another uh, 300 amp bus bar. And then some battery brackets for the version 5 battery. I guess if you're not using this cabinet right here, you can stack these batteries basically right on top of each other. We might have saw that in one of the pictures here. Let me see. One of these pictures. Which one was it? They had the battery. So I think something like this right here, I think that's just that bracket, and they're just stacked on top of each other. So I think that's pretty cool as well. You can save a lot of room even on the inside with these batteries because they just stack right on top of each other with those little clamps. So I definitely like that one as well. Hey, Donnie, what's going on? Howdy to you as well. So if, if you didn't see at the beginning what we're talking about, we're talking about these Pites batteries, new to Signature Solar, a few new products. Basically, they got the five, uh, uh, the version five Pites battery, uh, litho, LiPo 4 battery, 5.12 uh, kilowatts, and it's $1,600. And like you saw, it has those brackets where you can stack them right on top of each other. Or you can use this cabinet and put them on the outside. And that was one of the most interesting things I saw. That's why I want to do this live stream real quick. So if anybody's interested and they want to do the pre-order before everybody else jumps on this stuff, hey, at least you're going to go ahead and know about it early. And you can make that order for the early uh, December shipping. And the battery looks like they're out right now. So you can just add it to cart. And I guess they'll ship them to you right away. So... I appreciate everybody coming and checking out the stream. Looks like we got about 15 people on here right now. So if you don't got any questions, I'll probably go ahead and end it right here. If you do got questions, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'll go ahead and give you a minute while we're just looking around. And I'll go ahead and scroll back through all the products that they got again, just so anybody that missed it can see. And remember, I have the stuff linked up in the description, and you can go check it out for yourself, of course, because that's all I'm doing is going to check it out like I would even if I wasn't doing a stream. But I just figured I would show everybody. Hey, and if you like these kind of streams and you like the videos I've been doing lately, hey, just think about hitting that subscribe button, you know, hitting that like button. Let's see, MP Tech, why buy this over the regular server rack battery? Ah. I just think it looks pretty cool myself. And I like that it has the outdoor uh, a cabinet and the way they stack. So it just saves room in a different way. And these batteries, as you may have been able to see, they stack right on top of each other. So it can even save room on the inside versus having the big server rack uh, cabinets that have six batteries in it. I'll go ahead and pull it up for you to see again. So right here, 
Let me go back to my screen sharing, actually. Uh, you see right here, uh, MP Tech, how they stack right on top of each other. So it just depends on what you want to do. It's just another option. And the more options we have, the lower the prices come down on all of the options that we have. Because if you only have one option, the price is going to be high. The more options you have, you know, you can design something to fit your needs. So as you see, these right here are stacked right on top of you, right on top of each other. I cannot talk. And, you know, that's just a pretty cool option to have. And you can put them straight up and down like this, stack them on top of each other, put them next to each other, put a cabinet in there. So, you know, it doesn't take up that much room. And it's just another great option for anybody that wants to do DIY solar. I have a bunch of live power four batteries. I got a bunch of server rack batteries. I have the indoor power pro battery, you know, I have a little bit of everything. So it just depends on your needs. So just another option. And remember, you know, if you like these kind of videos, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button. I'm having a lot of stuff coming out and I'll be trying to break down stuff that a lot of people are not going to be doing. Doing one little thing on an inverter or a battery or whatever I'm testing at a time. And hey, I appreciate everybody for checking this thing out and thanks for watching.